New developments as the father and husband of the family that first responders saved Friday morning from their burning house in Bedford Hills is speaking with News 12 about the dramatic rescue. Jade Nash brings us his story. Mark White is a dedicated father, husband, and a longtime resident at 38 Park Avenue in Bedford Hills. He says he got a call early Friday morning that nearly changed everything. My wife says the house is on fire. I work overnight at Whole Foods in Chappaqua. So I left work. I called 911. I did about 115 on the highway, told him all the speed didn't come into my house, it's on fire. The fire is the reason for this dramatic rescue. The body cam footage released by Bedford Town Police shows first responders saving White's wife and his two young sons, ages 9 and 10, one of which has special needs. The dramatic rescue left White with all of the emotions. The fact that we're right here, the police, everybody saved my family. Like, I could have nothing. After the rescue, White's loved ones then went to the hospital for treatment. Luckily, he says everyone is stable. They should be getting discharged today. In in between running back and forth to the hospital to visit them, White says he has to deal with what's left of his house. He took us inside to show us some of the damage. As you can see here, many of the family's belongings got burned in the fire. Years and years of you know memories. White says it will be a good three to six months before his family can move back in. You know, it's not going to be easy. I know that for sure, but we'll get through it. He says they're staying at a nearby hotel until they can move back in. However, on a positive note, just as our interview was wrapping up on Saturday, White got a phone call from the hospital where his children are being treated at that their ENT has finally cleared them to be discharged. In Bedford Hills, Jade Nash, News 12.